Hello everyone, I just wanted to go over my trading view workspace in reference to my indicators and anything that's related to order flow that I use for that within trading view. Uh, just to begin with, this is now sponsored by Woo and I thought I'd bring this to your attention for those that aren't aware really. Um, if you just go over to luxury.trade, head over to ExoCharts course because I get a lot of people asking me about this. Uh, there is no actual payment to this really. Um, you just sign up with the Woo link below, deposit $500, take one trade um, and apply, you know, either via the discord here and you can see all the stuff that we get there or just apply down there below and you'll get all access to kind of everything that I'm doing there in reference to the extra charts course. So there's no payment to that. And for those that want to do journaling, um, again, you can go over to the, the, the CMM page here, claim your free 14 day trial. And then if you connect any of the, the affiliated exchanges, you get to journal completely for free. Um, through CMM. So there's no cost to you at all through any of this stuff. Um, just if you want to get either interested in exo charts uh, in a lot more detail into like an eight to 10 hour course or further in, in reference to your journaling through a completely free system. Uh, if you connect these following exchange pairs, um, hopefully that makes sense. There is a bonus. So again, uh, I'll be covering that later on, but let's just head on with the video um, to begin with, which is in relation to trading view indicators. And there's a few, um, this video is actually generally inspired by Abe Trade, Trading Riot um, from Adam, great guy over there. So I uh, recommend you go and watch his stuff as well. Uh, 100%, I'm pretty sure you already know who he is. Um, but I wanted to cover my view on things and, and just a bit of a contrary take to, I guess, the stuff that I'm using in, in a little bit of that perspective. So um, to begin with, I've got a few different templates up here. You can see from like zero to X. I think this is a really great way to do things. By the way, a lot I see a lot of people that don't do this, but just setting indicator templates so you can quickly switch through what you want to be seeing at any given pop point in the chart. So to begin with, the primary one that I'm using is the volume sweep by Leviathan. Again, um, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 in, in reference to the volume uh, in colored candle. So what this is going to be doing, okay, and, and this is the colored candle views. So all these different colored candles are going to be showing a spike in volume. Now, uh, for example, if you have a candle here, so this candle here, it's going to be comparing against the previous X amount of candles and going, is it higher than the average volume? Yes, it is 3X the average volume. Okay, we're gonna color it a certain shade. Uh, really good for identifying reversals, um, etc. But not only does this indicate to use just coloring candles, I'll show you a few different setups I've got of it, but you've got down here, you can see the buy and sell volume that I've got on it. So really, really good here because for example, I'm not, I don't see people use this one, um, but you can see here all the different settings 1.5 2.5 3.5 and what this is referring to down at the bottom here if you've got colored candles and then you've got this at the bottom here where you're seeing the buy and sell volume i can kind of tell a discrepancy because for example within this candle here although it ended red and the majority of the volume was you know net sell volume you still might have a, a proportionate amount of buys coming into that same candle which could be trapped or put offside again you'd have to look at open interest and i still recommend looking at exo charts to recommend to look at open interest etc but if you are scanning through multiple different coins etc then this is also a great way to be looking at things um okay so if we're just looking here for example further if we just find you can look at discrepancies within this so what i mean by that is if I, let's just see if we can find a good example uh, I don't think this is going to be great. I do apologize for this. But the idea, the general idea with this is I'll show you. Uh, even here, this is uh, this is a great example here, right? Even if you don't get the, the best about this, you know, if, if we look here, you might be trading a swing failure pattern, um, even in this case, and you'd be thinking, well, look, it's, it's the shaded red. So there must be a lot of sell volume in this. But the majority of this candle was actually made up of proportionally buy volume. So you can see here the two more buy volume than there was sell volume within this candle. And then it's up to you to obviously decipher where that buy and sell volume is coming in within that candle. I don't think this is a this is fairly uh, low level stuff in reference to volume and delta etc you want to be identifying where this volume is coming in and where that specific delta is coming in because this delta here positive delta could be cut or by volume could be coming in at the bottom of the candle in that case it's not too significant but if it's coming in at the top of the candle well that could be trapped traders if you're looking at open interest as well so hopefully that makes sense in reference towards that um I don't actually use this template the most. Uh, the one I use probably the most now in, is, is a very simplistic view of this is just a zero one. Okay. And this is now, if we're just looking at, 
I've taken the coloring candles off. I don't, I, I find them a bit too messy sometimes. Um, and then I've actually just put on the bottom here, just the volume itself, because predominantly I am using exo charts to go through all of this stuff. Um, and it just makes sense to have a clean view of all of this, you know, here, to be honest. Um, but again, I do recommend if you aren't using that, then you can definitely look at, you know, buy and sell volume in proportionate in terms of the delta there almost against the actual volume candles itself and where you're getting spikes in volume. Um, in my opinion, I did a really good video on X yesterday in reference to looking for larger positions getting filled and, and it kind of ties in a little bit to this. So I'd recommend you go look at that. Uh, but those are the first, you know, they're both basically the same indicator, but you can just duplicate it, place one underneath the chart, etc. Uh, the other one that I've enabled is bubbles uh, that I use a little bit is market order bubbles. So this is just going to be showing you where aggressive people are coming into the market. Um, I use this fairly a decent amount, to be honest with you, because, in, you know, if I'm not if I don't have access to exo charts at the time, even though I don't actually take any trades unless I'm, I've got exo charts there and then. Um, this is still a good way to just to be seeing how market participants are ongoing. Again, you can use this on the four hour, whatever you want, um, but it will just show you where large participants are really entering the market aggressively towards the downside or upside. Again, these will all be linked um, in this in the description below. But you can see here where you get a large amount of people buying. Obviously, you know you then get it tapers off and, and you get like a massive sell off from there. But yeah, in general, these are just the indicators I'm using. I'm not really going to dive too deep into the, you know, the way I use them. Um, then you've got sessions. This one's really good. Um, again, it depends. Uh, this is the way I've configured it at least. Um, so you can kind of do this as well. So if, if you want, um, but you've got market sessions by Leviathan. Again, this guy, this guy's making some great indicators. I, I highly recommend you go check him out on X Twitter, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but market sessions, and this is just the session. So it's going to be creating the boxes. So just really briefly. Right, we can actually hide everything. This is going to be creating the boxes to go, okay, London, New York, Sydney, Tokyo, whatever you want, okay, in this case. But again, you can customize it to your needs. These are the actual times I use. These are actually accurate. Uh, the only thing I would probably change is, you know, changes to say close, changes to say Asia, and then you've got Asia, London, New York, close. Cool. And, and you've got all the different sessions. So you're identifying that. But what I then did was I added on a session volume profile. Okay, and I still need to configure this a bit more, but you can get the gist of it nonetheless. Where each, you know, they match up. So each of these are custom 12 to 8 is New York session, uh, 0 to 6 London. And you can see here how they, they represent those, those sessions themselves. So you've now got a session volume profile per session you've got. And you can see they, where naked pointer controls are really coming in in relation to the sessions. And they're really good. I mean, even like here, for example, um, what you can do, for example, uh, if we just click on this. Uh, just to play around with it, uh, what I would do is extend the POC right, I believe, um, on this so you can see where it then gets hit. This is really quite nice. So you can see here the POC is getting hit up the top for the rejection. And that's what kind of what we're right below now at the moment. So, yeah, there's a few different indicators here that I'm using. I don't really want to overcomplicate the stack of indicators I'm using uh, on, on TradingView. At, at least, you know, you've got there's, there's only a few here. Obviously, we have the. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with this one. I do use this, but this isn't really for order flow or anything. This is more for just identifying key levels of interest for liquidity. Um, I still use this pivotal moments. So I've got this created and you can see where there's resting liquidity on either side of the market. And then what would be a great way to use this, all of this together would be to have these on, for example, and then be like, well, look, there's clearly resting liquidity below all of this, right? So if we get down to here and we see maybe aggressive selling coming in through the market order bubbles, uh, etc. Then that would be looking for a setup potentially towards you know a reversal trade setup in that case. So it's not too complex what I'm using. There's a few different settings there. I think the most important ones are the obviously the the, the volume uh, suite, but also in, in my opinion actually looking at the discrepancies in buy and sell volume against where the candles is and where it's actually ongoing within that candle. Um, Again, I actually prefer doing all of this within exo charts, but I think uh, for those that don't have access to exo charts, um, if you don't, actually, I, I didn't mention this, but within the where is this within this section here, if you do do the WUX thing, I forgot to mention that you actually do get a month of exo charts because I'm partnered there. This is just to get you probably got the best deal possible in reference to that. Uh, so you get a month of exo, the course, um, 
lifetime coin market man and there's no excuse to not journal i think that's the one thing i've been really trying to heavily push there is no excuse to not journal uh so you can sign up through that if you do a certain amount of volume you get exclusive access to like a high volume community um with a bunch of me and my really close friends again this is not obligatory at all i really highly recommend you don't do this and don't force yourself to trade high volume unless you understand completely what you're doing um and there's nothing new in there in terms of material or education it's just literally a place to network and communicate with other high volume traders um and you can find more about that on the discord if you just join the discord there so again everything i'm doing is free um merely if you want this stuff it you know rather than paying direct dollars for it you can trade and you know deposit 500 dollars, take one trade take the rest of the money out if you wish and you get exo charts um but if you want to journal obviously it is only through these referral links uh through coin market man so there's a ton of deals there um that i hope you lot find beneficial but in reference to the indicators hopefully this will make sense to you hopefully you found it valuable in this case um and i'll link all these indicators below or again um if we just go back over to here computer's lagging a little bit um if you go to the stack section you should be able to access all the indicators down here one two three four uh, there's a few of them down there that i use all of them so yeah hopefully that makes sense and you found this valuable thank you for listening